Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching No Game, No Life, Episode 10. So, last episode, we picked up where we left off with, um... Um... Shiro? I believe it's Shiro. Yeah. Um... Being the only person who remembers Sora. Excuse me. Um, nobody else does. That being Stephanie and Jabril. They actually seem to think that she's going crazy. <laughs> or has imagined this brother. Um, Stephanie actually, after a little while, starts saying that she actually thinks that he might be have existed because she kind of has a feeling about it um so they start trying to come up with uh like how have we forgotten about him if he's real um and basically it all comes down to a game uh he actually challenged Kurami to uh the game of uh I think it's Othello um, where as they are playing, they are losing, or, pe like, people are forgetting them. The more the other person is losing, the more they are forgotten. Or, like, the m whenever they do a move that goes into their favor, that person, their opponent, loses uh, like a memory or something like that. I can't remember exactly how it was placed, how it was put into uh, words, but basically they're being forgotten. Um, and Sora had it set up so that Shiro would remember him because he knew he wouldn't be able to finish the game on his own. Uh, in fact. They were playing the game right in the room that she woke up in. And same rules apply that he, they usually uh, put into effect. That he and Shiro count as one person. Uh, and basically, if one of them cannot continue the game, the other one, their partner, can take over. So even Kurami... Her um, elf partner could take over for her if she felt like she couldn't finish. Um, and he actually couldn't finish. So she had to take over. Only she couldn't see the board. But he knew that she would know <laughs> what moves he would make on the board and where she would have to place the piece in order to win. She had three pieces left. So, he knew she would figure it out. Which she did. And she ended up, they ended up winning. He came back, they all got their memories of him back. Uh, and it seemed like Kurami was going to be, well, she was gone, basically. It was, it was like she was an empty shell. And then he gave her back her memories. <laughs> <laughs> and she came back. Uh, but she also got his memories. So she knew his plan. She knew that he wasn't working with some other race to take over. She knows everything that is going on with them. Uh, and so she is on board with helping them to defeat the uh, beast people. Um, Because they need the... Uh, they need her elf friend to come with them to make sure that they win. Um, it's basically where it ends. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to make these a lot shorter, so I'm sorry if I skipped a whole lot. Uh, I tried to get to the main part of the uh, episode. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to babble on about stuff that doesn't really matter. Like right now. Uh, anyway. I'm pretty sure they're going to go back and try to challenge the beast people to a game. So, either that or they're going to come up with their strategy. 
or go over the strategy. I don't know. They probably won't go over the strategy. They're probably not going to tell us until it's actually time and everything is set up like they usually do. But anyway, let's get into this episode. Uh, it would help if I did this. Let me see. What volume? Turn this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so the video is going to be located over here. And the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. And we're going to start this episode in three, two, one.